Yo, this is the third video of Nothing to a Knife in where we start with nothing and do trade-ups to try and get the knife. And from the last video, we now have $9.12 in our balance, so hopefully we can grow it even more in this video. So for the first trade-up, I did not want to start with a risky trade-up yet since I want to start with a profit. So I went with this Millspec Shadow trade-up in where we will be using 6 minimum wear shadow skins and 4 factory new clutch skins as filler skins. So keep in mind that for this trade-up, you must keep the average float below 0.07 and the total cost will be around $2.30 each depending on what input you use and how much you get them for. For the outcomes, we have a 55% chance to get the shadow outcome and a 45% chance to get the clutch outcome. The shadow skins are a profit and the clutch skins are a loss. And overall, this is a profitable trade-up so hopefully we get some shadow skins to profit from this trade-up. So for the first trade-up, we got a clutch skin and hopefully this is not a nomen for the rest of the trade-ups. And next trade-up, let's see what we get. Ooh, another clutch skin. So we are down bad so far. Next up, watch me get another clutch skin maybe. Okay, nice. So we did get a shadow outcome, but it is not the ones that we are looking for since what we do want is the P250 and the Galil. But since this is a profit, I will take it, I guess. Fourth trade up, we hit another shadow skin, but this is literally the worst shadow skin we can get, so luckily unlucky, I guess. And for the last trade up, we hit another M249. So, overall, for those five trade ups, we actually lost money. We lost 44 cents on those trade ups, even though we got some shadow outcomes. We ultimately did not hit any of the actual good outcomes, so that now puts our total down to $8.68 each, so that is unfortunate that we lost money, but let's just move on to the next trade up. Are you sick and tired of your terrible skins and want good skins like this in here? Then make sure to check out SkinsMonkey. SkinsMonkey is a site where you can trade your terrible skins for good skins instantly. So you can also buy these skins where you can get a 35% bonus on your deposits. So SkinsMonkey is also giving you guys a free $5 on your first trade. And all you have to do is put in my code ELSU. So make sure to check out SkinsMonkey, link will be in the description. So for the next trade up, we will be doing a dope and insanely profitable trade up. So we will do this Dreams and Nightmare trade up in where we will be using 9 minimal or Dreams and Nightmare skins and 1 factory new clutch skin. So for this trade-up to work, you will have to set up buy orders for the minimal or Dreams and Nightmare skins. And the purpose of the clutch skin is to bring the average float down since we must keep the average float below 0.092. And the total cost of the trade-up is $1.55 each. For the outcomes, we get $1.70 profit with the M4A1 and the USP. This is after Steam tax by the way. Then we lose a little bit with the rest of the outcomes. So this is a very profitable and spammable trade-up and you can make it even more profitable if you use 10 minimal or Dreams and Nightmare skins under 0.092 instead. But I am getting off track here so let's see what we get. Ooh another Dream Blade so another unfortunate start. But I was not really mad about that since we did get lucky in the second trade-up since we got the USB so that is really nice. Third trade-up, hopefully you can get 2 profits in a row. No luck there, I guess. Next up. Nice, let's go. That should now put us in profit overall for this video. So that's really nice. Fifth trade up. Oh man, we got another XM. <laughs> Next trade up. 3, 2, 1. Yeah, that is nice. Next up. Give me a profit, please. Fuck, we got the clutch outcome. Last trade up. Please give me something nice. Nice! Thank you, Lord Gaben. That is something really nice. So we did some really nice trade-ups overall there, and we managed to hit a profit of $4.09. So thank you, Lord Gaben. And that now puts our total up to $12.77. So I'll be giving away an AK red line in this video. So if you want to enter, just check out the pinned comment down below. Next trade-up. We'll be doing a mill spec to restricted trade up of the factory new revolver skins. So we'll be using 6 minimal wear revolver skins and 4 factory new skins. So we'll be doing 4 attempts at this trade up. In 2 of those trade ups, we'll be using factory new danger zone skins, and in the rest of the 2, we'll be using breakout skins. It doesn't really matter what factory new skins you use as long as it is cheap and as long as you keep the average float below 0.07. So first trade up, we will be doing a revolver slash danger zone trade up. 
This is roughly what it looks like. We have a 64% chance to get the profit with the revolver skins and a 35% chance to lose with the danger zone skins. So we always hit a loss outcome on the first trade up so let's see if we can break the curse here. Nice so we did get a revolver outcome but it was one of the worst outcomes so that is unfortunate. Second attempt at this trade up. 3, 2, 1. Ooh a danger zone outcome that hurts. So next trade up as I said I'll be doing a revolver slash breakout trade up. It will basically be the same trade up but now we will be using 5 minimal wear revolver skins and 5 factory nuclear skins. So that makes the odds to get profits a little bit worse. It is now a 50-50 trade up but it is still a profitable trade up overall so let's try to get some money. 3, 2, 1. Ooh one of the revolver outcomes but one of the worst outcomes yet again so Luckily unlucky yet again. So hopefully we get something much better on the next trade up. So for the last trade up, let's see what we get. Nice! We hit a Tech 9 Avalanche which is a dollar and 11 cents profit. So we did finally hit something nice and it is fitting to end this video with this nice win. So these revolver trade ups gives us a profit of 58 cents so not much of a profit as I hoped but hey profit is still a profit so we take those. And overall, we now have $13.35 in our Steam balance, so that is really nice. So if you'd like to see some extremely profitable trade-ups, click this and peace out guys.